it's Holly the Twister Sister and it's Tutorial Tuesday so that means I am back to share with you guys a brand new free balloon twisting tutorial. This week we are back with the Valentine's themed designs. We're going to do a really cute koala on a heart wand so you want to make sure to stick around and also we are adopting a koala this week uh, to help with the crisis that is going on over in Australia right now with the fires. Just my heart breaks for everyone and everything affected by those fires. So we're gonna do our small part with this video, so stay tuned. with the heart wand and this is also a good line work design by itself so we're gonna do this first you're gonna need obviously a heart so I'm using a six inch pink heart and then I'm also um, doing a red 260 got the Valentine's colors going and we've left about a two to three inch tail on the end of this guy and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start off with a five or six maybe even a seven petal flower whatever you feel like doing um, and to do that, we're just going to fold the front of our balloon over, grab the knot, pull that into your balloon and twist it in, and then thread that right through the middle of your loop to lock it in. And we want to make four or five or six more of these um, until you like the way it looks, until you have enough of your balloon left so it's like a nice size stick to hold on to. So I'm just going to go on with my loops and see how many I can fit in here without using up too much of the balloon so that we still have a handle. And I think I'm gonna do it at five. If I had made my loop smaller, we could probably have gotten six. But I'm just gonna leave it at five. I think that leaves it uh, with the perfect little size stick or handle to hold on to this design. And then we're just gonna take our pink, pink six inch round and we'll just go ahead and inflate that one-handed. And I'm not even going to tie this off. I'm just going to pinch the nozzle of it and then pull that down into the center of our little flower petal base. Okay. And then there you have a really easy little heart-shaped wand. Just straighten it out before you give it to anyone. <laughs> there we go. And this is a great little uh, design to put on your menus for Valentine's Day events that is super fast and easy and it's also really sweet and something that's pretty nice for people to get or to give to somebody okay so we do have clip art available for this in the store and in the twister hood if you are a member you can go snag that for your menus but let's dress this guy up a bit and put a cute little koala hanging on the handle now before we get into this koala i want to introduce you to the koala that we are adopting from australia to help out in just a small way um, with some of the tragedy that's going on over there and the loss of life animal human everything um, i just saw this morning that there was a few u.s firefighters who lost their life recently had gone over there to help um, so just devastating in every way and um, I've seen a lot of videos of the koalas obviously being rescued. It breaks my heart. And so we are, as a Twister Sister, Twister Hood, we are adopting a koala to try to help out a little bit. And um, if we get updates on the koala, we'll post it on our Facebook page so you guys can keep up with the new Twister Sister koala. All right, so let's get into how to make a koala out of balloons. Uh, very similar to a koala that I made last year um, but we're switching it up just slightly not too much we're gonna start off with a black and a gray or a silver or the Batalitex grayish would work really well also um, I've tied both of them together the black you don't need very much the gray I left about a two to three inch tail on the black we're gonna start off with two bubbles about the same size I like to do them about two inches so this is gonna be like their big nose. So you wanna make it pretty substantial bubbles and just twist those together. Now we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do five bubbles on the gray and these are all gonna be about two inches as well. So one, two, three, four, and five. And those are just gonna go all the way around our black and kind of make a circle around it 
push it into the bottom here when you get back to the beginning. Now, when you look at our little loop of bubbles here, we're gonna take the second and fourth bubbles here on either side of the head and make those into pinch twists. So just grab those bubbles and twist them around themselves. Okay, make a little ear. Do the same thing with this one. Just make sure that nose is straight in the middle of all that. And there you have a cute little koala bear face. Super simple. All right, and the next thing we're gonna do is a really simple dog body, basically. So I'm gonna come down and just do a small round bubble for a neck, and then we're gonna give them some arms. Now this depends um, where you're gonna be attaching your koala. He can either be holding on to the, the handle part of this, or you can have his arms wrap around the heart. So whichever part you want him to hold on to, you kind of need to figure out how big his arm should be. If he's going to hold on to the heart, you need to attach him to the heart at this point. If he's just going to slide up the stem, you can make the koala separately and slide him up later. But just think ahead so that you don't make your koala and then realize you can't fit him onto the heart. <laughs> so I'm actually going to put him on the heart part of this, okay? So I'm just going to take his arm bubble across here to measure it. And we're going to bring that all the way around the heart back into his neck. So be like that. And then we're just gonna do a really simple little bubble for his body, two little bubbles for legs. These are definitely gonna be shorter than his front arms, okay? And then I'm gonna just take whatever I have left here, try to squeeze off the littlest tiny bubble at the end of this balloon. Okay, and then we can fold this back down into his back legs to sort of give him a loopy, loopy little bear tail. Okay, so then I'm gonna position him so he's holding on like that, his head's kinda of cocked over to the side. Once you're done with that, you can get rid of the rest of your black balloon and secure that off so that it won't come untwisted. And all you have left to do is add a little bit of Sharpie art. And voila, that's what I did for Sharpie art. Just two black circles for the eyes with some little lines for eyebrows. And then I used the white paint pen to liven those up a little bit with some white dots. And I also did a little white line on his nose just for the extra cute shininess. And then you can see I've done some pink face paint uh, blush for his cheeks. And that just really makes him a cute little koala that's perfect for Valentine's Day. I don't know why koalas are popular for Valentine's Day, but if you go to any store right now, there's tons of them. So I'm just gonna roll with it. There's your cute little koala for Valentine's Day. And yes, we do have clip art available for this guy as well, so make sure you check that out. Don't forget to check out our adopted Twister Sister Koala. Uh, we'll be posting more info about him on the Facebook page, which by the way, if you don't already follow it, you might want to because we post cool stuff there from time to time. If you guys like this video, make sure to let me know by giving that little like button a click. And if you wanna see more videos like this, I put out new tutorials every single Tuesday. Make sure that you get notified when a new video comes out by subscribing and making sure to click that little bell icon so you actually get notified when I have a new video come out. And if you're looking for other Valentine's themed tutorials, check out some of these suggestions over here. I'll see you in one of those videos. Till then, happy twisting. Bye everyone.